brings together lots of different worlds and all of those worlds are represented here tonight. And I'd really like all of you to know who you're sharing company with here because you are equally, equally important to the, the revolution of this play. This is Graham Hembro, he's from Prison Fellowship of Queensland. And we had a conversation down at Currumby two years ago about we're going to play written in prisons. How do we approach the prison system? And how do we not frighten all the good Christian folk inside Prison Fellowship Australia with our foul mouth play? <laughs> Graham directors was so generous and put us in the right direction. Because of that direction, we met Andy Steele and Christine uh, up at Bunya, and on, which is a rehabilitation centre and one of the church services up there at the time. And Andy's involved with street life. We were just down around the corner. Sorry, street level, I beg your pardon. Street level, but Andy, right? Happy birthday, by the way, Andy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Andy. <laughs> um, street level around the corner here as well. Um, and uh, great advice. Great advice on how to approach people and get to talk to people. Uh, this is Sarah. Sarah also helped us out as well. Um, the captive audience is, is a great study that was done on theatre in prisons around Australia. Michael Balfour, Professor Michael Balfour helped us first of all. Lindy Davey worked at the Helena Jones Centre out there in Albion and Sarah was able to guide us through saying this is the world you're heading into, this is Queensland Corrective Services, they're a great group and they do those things. So it's wonderful to have you here tonight. And where's Chris? There she is, she's hiding. <laughs> this is Chris Wong. Um, Amy Compton Keane, you might have, some of you might have seen in the interviews that happened so far, and Chris head up 04 down in Bean Lee, and not just in Bean Lee, in South East Queensland. And they help women on the last six months of incarceration and the first six months of release, and it can go up to two years. Do go and say hi to Chris, she's very shy, she'll hate it. Um, <laughs> but, but the access, we were with the program, the program which is fighting this issue and the access that they enabled us to have to meet with the women to inform our play was just second to none. There's been a massive story done in, into parole in Queensland recently, and the project that they most named, Walter Stoffenhoff most named, is the Mara project. So we were very, very privileged to work with them as well. That's the prison world, uh, as far as, except for Trent Dalton, who also got a prison. Yeah, it's in his book, you love it. It's got more stuff in it. But, uh, from, from the media world, uh, can I share what you just said? Is that okay? Jeff was just talking about the Rain's letter to her son and saying that the, the cathartic moment for Rain has about that. And he said, in that moment, he was the boy. In his book, he's the boy writing to the mum. In this play, here's the mum dreaming about the boy. So, great connection, oh, mate. Really appreciate Thank you, it. too. Yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, so, also, Here's wonderful Carolyn Russo, and we thank Kay McGrath, who had to head off. It's so important for her to be here too with her uh, relationship with TV and what, what happens there as well. Thank you for our media support. Thank you, Robin, for being here tonight. Uh, thank you, Carolyn, again, as I said. Thank you, Meredith and Barry and everyone for supporting us here. Uh, my brother Michael's here. You know, he helped me put the roster in. Good on you, Mike. Uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> stage, 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 stage. It did collapse. Two hands just went up a stage and it didn't collapse. <laughs> that's it. But most importantly, outside, when you get to all that world and all the passion you want to be there, is the bubble, the precious bubble that is inside the theatre. And that comes down to Michael Bay, and that comes down to Julia Johnson, and that comes down to Sade Ann. And for all, the, all of these people, I have realised in, in the presentation of this play, we just want to say thank you to all of you for creating it and for carrying the message that I've given out into the world. Michael Bay, Julia Johnson, Charlie and ladies and gentlemen. It also, it also is our incredible stage manager. Yes. yes. Where is she? Ebony. 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 Come on over. And our incredible yes, and our beautiful and amazing lighting designer, Beth. Yes. Come on over. And also, Naz is here. Naz, incredible. Those amazing photos that we saw. Naz and Wayne who can't be here tonight. Um, it's a very tight team. You know, it's a small team, it's a tight team working together to create indie theatre. Um, 
And, and so we need you to go out and spread the word and tell everybody to come and see this incredible performance. I'm always a marketer. Um, you know, so I'm like a bit like him. So always come, come and tell, tell your friends to come and see this incredible piece of work with these beautiful actors who have worked so hard to create an incredible performance, beautiful stories, so well supported by Ebony, with beautifully lit by Beth. You know, it's it's really stunning work, and it needs to be seen. So please tell everybody to come and see it. There's not yes. All right. There's pizza. Everyone go and meet one person I didn't come here with. That's all. Right. Thank you. <laughs>